So Kevin, a hard fought day from the bowlers there. How do you assess their efforts throughout that Glamorgan innings? Um, I, I can't question their commitment. It was wonderful commitment from them all today. Um, probably didn't execute as well as we would normally have. Um, but you know, tomorrow we've got to get this wicket quickly and then we've got to move on. We effectively go into a, a two day game and we'll be looking to assess what we did in this innings and improve for the next. Uh, the pitch always seemed a hard one for the batter to start on. Was that the kind of the conversation when North East and Lloyd were building their partnership and then that partnership again at the end? Um, yeah, so the wicket, I thought it was an excellent wicket. If, if you didn't get it right, yeah, you, you suffered as a bowler. If you put it in the right place, there was enough assistance to, to give you a chance. And I think all the way through, whether it was the, the partnership with, with North East or the partnership there at the end, where those two lads played really, really well, um, you know, we probably just didn't hit our straps as well as we would normally have. However, in patches, there was some really nice stuff today. Uh, Jerry led the way in the wickets column. How well did he adapt to that fourth seamer role today? Yeah, he did really, really well. Um, Joey didn't bowl much in the Sussex games. So it was nice to, to see him get some overs here and to take his wickets was always a positive. You know, it was lovely to see James Patterson in, in parts bowling with some fantastic pace and that's really, really exciting for the future, um, for the rest of the season. And then obviously um, Dane's come off of the plane literally on Tuesday and bowled one of the tighter spells that he did. He, he looked excellent, putting lots of pressure on them. And then obviously Brett there bowled. I thought he bowled really, really well all the way through the game, but there was that period in the middle session where it looked like he could get a wicket every ball. So, you know, overall, we haven't had our best day as a group. You know, we set ourselves really, really high standards, but there was enough in there that I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to take some positives out of this and move on tomorrow. You touched on the two overseas stars who've only landed this week. How much commitment and how hard is it to come off the plane and be ready to go and bowl those 20 overs that they've done between them and today? I haven't done a lot of international travel and coached. It's hard, but to do the international travel and come and play, especially to bowl fast, that is really hard. But there was never any question in, in, in their minds that they weren't going to play this. And that's what I've loved. They've come off the plane, they've trained so hard for the two days that they've been here, and they've committed and given everything out there. And I think that speaks volumes of them as, as cricketers and as blokes. Uh, Glamorgan eked out a slender lead there at the end, but how pleasing is it to see that there are runs in that pitch for Duckett in the first innings and then for the, the Glamorgan batsman today? Yeah, that's right. And I, uh, as I said, I, I think this is a really good cricket pitch. You bowl well, you get rewards. Uh, if you don't bowl so well, then you know it, it, you obviously go. And at times, you know that, that's where we were today. But I think this is going to be a fabulous game.